Lindmar LMTV, Lindmar Television. Lindmar, your news starts now. Hey, Lindmar, it's Wednesday, October 24th, 2018. It's National Food Day today. Here's what's going on today across the campus. Our top story, our amazing volleyball team is one step closer to state. LMTV's Kai is here with the details. Kai? Davenport Central made it interesting, but our girls took the first match 25 to 18. Linmar won the second match 25 to 11, and in the third it was Linmar 25 to 17, so he won three to nothing. Our girls host Pleasant Valley on Monday night at seven in the Class 5A Region 7 Finals in our gym. Again, tickets are six dollars each, and because it is a state event, activity passes will not be accepted. Kyle, back to you. Thanks, Kai. We want to give a shout out to the 48 students who are accepted to perform at the Allstate Music Festival next month. There are 15 chosen for the Allstate Band of two alternates, 19 string players accepted to the Allstate Orchestra with three alternates, and 14 were selected to the Allstate Choir. They'll perform Saturday, November 17th on the Iowa State campus. Congratulations to them. In other news, it's your opportunity to shine on stage and be discovered by distinguished talent judges. LMTV's Maddie has that story. Take your singing and performance skills to the next level. Be a part of the award-winning choral reading team. Auditions will take place tomorrow morning at 7 in the Little Theater. Everyone is welcome. If you have any questions about choral reading or can't make it to the auditions tomorrow, see Mrs. Patterson. Her office is just down the hall from the library. Kyle, back to you. Thanks, Maddie. If you are interested or looking for a cheap Halloween and fun Halloween costume this year, stop by the library and get a copy of a paper mask. Cut them out, fold glue, and have the costume in your, and you have a costume in the making. They have 18 different mat, paper mask designs available. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. Today's LMTV news is brought to you by The Roar Store, a student-run business bringing you the best Limar apparel and the accessories and brands you want. Stop by the store in the South Commons or see Mr. Brinkmeyer to learn more about The Roar Store. Welcome back. The Roar Store is partnering with Ray Gun to offer two new shirts. Whether you are surviving the Four Corners or, an or are an Armstrong Field swim team member, get your sh shirt at the Roar Store tomorrow or be prepared to wait until they reopen after the staff is retrained this next quarter. Hey freshmen, it's not too late to join Student Council. Stop by the 1112 office this week and pick up an application. And that's a look at our top stories at this hour. All conference honors out to our cross country team, and there are no real surprises. For the girls, you guessed it, it's the team of Micah Paulette and Chloe Skidmore. They made first team. For the guys, Dylan Dolezal made first team, and Caden Evans was named second team. Congratulations, cross country. Hey, baseball players, please attend a short meeting in the lower comments today at 345. Guys interested in track and field, an informational meeting will take place Friday, November 2nd at 8 a.m. in the lecture hall. Any questions? Please see Coach Hoffman. Sign-ups are open for Guy Swimming. See Ms. Kelly in the athletic office to sign up. Also, if you're interested in signing up for bowling, stop by the athletic office. That's sports. Kyle, back to you. Thanks, Alec. In news from the counselors, seniors, the counselors are having a college application help session next Tuesday from 4 to 7 p.m. Stop by. You'll be glad you did. For more information on this story, stop by our counselor's office or check out their website. Now here's... Aiden with the Arts and Clubs. On the Arts and Clubs scene, FCA meets tomorrow morning at 7.45 in the Ox Gym. Everyone is welcome. Hosts will meet tomorrow morning at 8 in Miss Johnson's room. They'll be discussing t-shirts, dues, and fundraising ideas. Key Club is hosting a candy gram sale this week. Send a box of candy to your friend along with a message. They will be delivered on Halloween. Each box is $2 and you can choose from an assortment of Halloween candy. That's Arts and Club. Back to you, Kyle. Thanks, Aiden. Hey, Alec, what's for lunch? Well, for lunch downstairs, we're running a marathon today, so let's get right to it. Downstairs, it's rotini, mini cheese ravioli, or the yogurt bar. Upstairs in the food court, it's pasta bar. And shout out to Mr. Henry's econ class. Thanks for a great first quarter, guys. That's lunch, Kyle. Back to you. Thanks, Alec. Your LMTV forecast calls looks for cloudy days for the rest of the week with a high of 55 today, 51 tomorrow, and 53 on Friday. And that wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the Linmar website or follow us on Twitter. From the entire cast and crew, thank you for watching. George, again tomorrow and make it a great day, Linmar.